How you doing? Pray that you're doing good. You see what time it is. Just here at the hotel gym. So I can check it out, see what I go on. First day in, been a busy one since landed, um, since we landed here. It's been hectic, but nonetheless, we're here. I see that the pull-up bar. Sure, I was afraid they didn't have the pull-up bar. So um, um, I could do push-ups and squats. Even got the weights right there if I want to get in some weighted squats, you know what I mean? And I definitely will get a walk in because came here and of course when you're first getting settled in you're gonna order a little uber eats and all that so i wasn't able to really get in the cleanest diet so i'm gonna push out some of them uh chocolate brownies that i had you know what i'm saying and just sweat that out even though i've been walking all day so i've been burning calories while eating but yeah let's get in a little workout man you know if time you know what time it is even though it ain't lunch time it's crunch time we ain't got much time let's get to it if you're thinking that you got all day every day you never gonna get to it, but get to it and handle your business because we don't have all day. Yeah, let's go. It's resistance day. Let's get these pull ups in.
that workout in. First day for training, and even though I traveled, I still got it in. Making this a priority is becoming easier and easier, you know what I mean? It's still a little different when it comes to the diet. Diet, I'm figuring out how to, you know, really just choose the proper choices and all that. Today, I, I stopped at this spot um, and picked up some Seymour's and some Moringa. So I'll be able to at least get my minerals in while I'm fasting throughout the day because I'm still waiting until one o'clock or two o'clock to have my first meal. Because I'm doing a lot of running around, I'm tending not to get my first meal in until about maybe three o'clock. So I'm able to at least have the minerals with the Seymour's and all that now. So I'm glad for that. Plus I'm feeling good, man. Like becoming, Training now is a habit. So like, I'm not training these last couple of days since I'm, um, I landed here and I'm um, just been running around. It's like, my body really needed it today. So I know I'm gonna have a good night's sleep tonight. It's actually in the evening. It's probably around, it's almost eight o'clock pretty much. So I got my workout in later than usual, but my body responded good. There was no difference. You know what I mean? Like normally sometimes I'm more fatigued when I train like after eating and all that, but Today I was pretty good. I felt like there was a, a moderate distance between when I last ate, which was probably three, four hours ago, to when I'm to now. So I wasn't too full. I had the energy. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, man. My back's still acting up, so I'm just um, paying close attention to that, doing my stretches, doing all my hip openers. I'm um, just really stretching the hamstrings because it's like those two things that really tighten up, which cause the back the lower lumbars to bend and flex. So if you you know if your hips are pulling in like this, you know all in through your groin muscle and all that. I don't want to get too much in detail and show you, but yeah, your groin area and all those. If those muscles start to really tighten up, like your psoas and all that, then that can really round your spine. You know what I mean? So if you stretch those out, that can give your spine more room to flex and not be pulled on so much, causing those aches and pains. And also stretching your hamstrings, really getting better and better at your hamstring flexibility is another way to loosen up those back pains. So I'm just slowly taking my time. It's been a week or so, so it has to be due to the, the car injury because honestly, I don't see where else I would have went wrong. I haven't really did anything different outside of like my normal training. So I don't know, I don't know. It, 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 I don't wanna act like this is a back pain that I got rid of. It is something that I am working on. So my season one and season two, if you haven't seen it, I basically worked on like the recovery phase. Now I'm like more in the maintenance phase, but it does happen like a reoccurring thing here and there, but it hasn't been this long. Like it'll probably happen maybe one or two days if I overdid it in an airbag exercise or something like that, and then it'll go away. But it's been here for about a week now and it's very uncomfortable. Like sleeping is uncomfortable. Um, um, walking is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but sitting down too long and standing up is not good at all. Like today I got a massage and um, um, I, was in, I was sitting down with my chest laying on the pad because I really wanted the lady to get my back and my neck and all that stuff. I really wanted my shoulders and all that to get worked on today. Um, um, yeah, when I stood up, my back was so tight and so stiff. So it's just like, <sighs> it's a tedious situation, but like I, I would rather go through this stage and work on getting rid of it than to continue on with the lower back pain and if you have back pain smash that like button even though it's not a wicked feeling smash that like button because i'm out here getting to it and i'm showing you one way you can get to it there are many ways you can get to the top of any mountain but this is one way that i am showing you from this angle so you know if you appreciate it definitely leave a comment subscribe if you haven't i'm going to head out and get some food and I'm gonna call it a night pretty much, you know what I'm saying? So I'm Joe Average. As you know, ain't nothing Joe Average over here and nothing average about you because we guys are getting out there and handling our business. Even if it's someone like me working nine to five, we're still finding that time to get to our passions and make more incomes outside of that. It felt really busting our ass or, or taking time away from our family or the lifestyle that we want, you know? But you could break it down to Joe F, but you could call me. And I'll let you later, right? So peace out. Bless up. New girls. And we gon' smoke weed. Girl, have a drink on me. I know we only just told me, but the vibe's so cool and you look so sweet.